Aren't you? Wanna be in the video? Yeah, baby. You got your bow, you got your bow, yes you do. All right, well, this lighting is just atrocious, darling. I can't even, can you? I can't. Do you like my frizzy hair? Me too! I spent five years on YouTube um, trying to save everyone money when they travel the world, yet I have neglected the most important part, buying things before you bloody go. Today I kind of want to deep dive and investigate the, what I predict and know to be true, the scam of buying miniature-sized, travel-sized toiletries. Now, I just realized I've forgotten a very important, pr important prop to this video. Good. Now, I always avoid buying the travel-sized toiletries at all costs, and what I use is some little refillable containers. But I decided to actually go and put my money where my mouth is. I went to Superdrug. Now, this is not a bash of Superdrug, because you guys could have gone into Boots, I could have gone into anywhere, and done the exact same thing. Actually, they were very nice in um, Superdrug. And did you know that all of their own brand products are cruelty-free? I know, it's policy. But when I actually sat back down and totaled up how much these tiny, very adorable and cute, let's just get that out the way with, yes, they are fabulous. How much these cost in comparison to full-size bottles I was actually kind of disgusted. We are gonna run through prices and what this would actually cost if it was going to be an accurate representation of by millimeter. Because that sentence made sense. So we all enjoy perusing the travel toiletry sections because come on, so cute. And a lot of time, like a super drug, they did have the three for three pounds offer going on. Now I will not be using offers. I will mention them if they were on offer, but I'm gonna take the RRP, the recommended retail price, so we can get a fair assessment because Offers aren't always on. And for frequent flyers, we all know you can only have a bag about this big, a clear bag, um, and none of the bottles can exceed 100 milliliters in capacity of liquids to get on a plane in hand luggage. So everyone just kind of goes to these. And when I was at the store, there were so many people picking these up, and I was just like, Girl, I'm only picking them up to make a point. You're picking them up because you don't know. Okay, so let's take this one as our first example. This is an original source, which is my favorite. I use it all the time. This is a 50 ml shower gel bottle. This cost £1.50. I know, Crunch. This is 250 ml original source. They didn't have the same um, fragrance. And you can only pick these up for a pound. And that's what exactly what it cost me. One pound. One pound fifty? One pound. Fifty mil? Two hundred and fifty mil. So on this logic, this has five times as much in it than this does, which would bring you to a grand total of seven pound fifty. If this was equivalent to that, this would be seven pound fifty. Was that math right? Damn, I'm good. So there is your first example. This is horrific. And I am in true believer that this whole travel size toiletry stuff is a complete scam because you think you need to buy this. Now granted, this is 250 milliliters, as we said, you could not take this on as hand luggage. What you can do is simply decant any of these items, pretty much any of these items, into smaller travel size bottles, which you can buy a pack of in Poundland, which is what I always do, and that's the prop I left upstairs. So that's your first just little taster, okay? It's just a little toaster. I went and found a shampoo and conditioner. These were £1.50 each, so let's just put them together and say that is £3, okay? For both of these. Both of them are 100 mil, so you're getting the maximum you can get on a plane. Can't complain about that. Then I went to find Mummy and Daddy on the other shelf, and these came to, check the receipt, £1.99 each. And I'm pretty sure, and these run a special, which I did say, I would tell you, these run a special for two for three pounds. But keep it fair, let's say these were four pounds, round it up, four pounds for 800 mils of product, three pounds for 200 mils. Do you see the issue here? Do you see, do you see where I'm going with this? This has so much that before you go on holiday, you can decant these into small little like 20 pence containers, which are pretty much like this size. And then when you get home, you've got loads more. Or just put these in your suitcase, whatever you want to do. It's your choice. It's your world. You're free to do. Will you stop panting crunch? And we'll move on to deodorants. This was £1.50. It's a little Nivea roll-on, 25 mils, pearl and beauty. And I tried to get everything exactly the same if I could. And I went and got the full-sized one. 
This is 50 mils, so still, it is half of what you can, as the maximum limit, take on the plane. This, again, is slippery, was £1.50. This was £1.03. and three pence. I get if you want to take smaller things, like deodorant, but how much space are you needing to save people? Now, this is one that's always baffled me, because toothpaste doesn't really take up a lot of room, and... Yes, I know. And did you know most toothpaste come in a 75ml tube? Yes, again. You can use it on the plate. So now, what was the prices of these two? So you have 25ml, £1.50. 75ml, £1.99. And to be honest, I have seen Colgate being sold, especially like the original one, in like Wilco's, Poundland, for, for, for exactly as you'd think, for a pound. This is getting ridiculous. But I thought I would save the very best till last, which I thought really took the biscuit. As we can see, most things just do not work out mathematically as better value. It's just kind of, they're trying to get you to just grab something off the shelf thinking this is what you need, where you could just buy something way better value, leave the rest at home and decant it into little pots and save yourself a fortune. And have loads for when you come home. But this, now be prepared cuteness warning it's gonna be overwhelming oh my god look how tiny it is this is 10 meters of waxed floss total care ideal travel size mint flavor now just just look at the size let's just fold that up look at look at it it is so cute size comparison with the face like my eyeball is bigger than this okay so very cute but if you go three aisles up in the shop to the dental section and find the exact same thing, total care, wax, floss, 50 meters, mint flavor, you find this. Now, unless you're taking the borrowers on holiday, I don't know how much space you really need to save. I get it, this is very handy, you could pop it in your purse if you wanted to, I get that. But I could not imagine justifying what these cost. £1.50 for 10 meters. 50 meters, only slightly bigger and still pretty blooming portable in size. 149! It was cheaper! I think we can safely say. Now, for me, this whole time has been. I kind of forget to mention things because I've been traveling for five years. It is almost my travel anniversary. It will be on the 19th of August, five years since I left for Australia. And this is kind of kind of standard knowledge. You go to Poundland, you buy your little bottles, or you buy some nicer quality ones, little squeezable um, silicone ones, and you just fill those up from bigger bottles. But the amount of people I saw in Superdrug buying baskets full of like all of this, and I'm thinking, you don't need to do that. You really don't need to do that. It's made me realize that this video might need to be done because maybe you've never really thought about it. So the next time you travel, Major tip, always decant what you can into smaller things. I know sometimes it can be really handy, especially if you're just about to jump on a plane. I totally get that. But if you're planning a trip, please do not fall for the marketing scam, which is travel size tomfoolery, if, if, if anything else can be called, it's tomfoolery. I think it's just the sheer amount of um, how much these are marked up compared to their, you know, mama version. Because of course this isn't going to be the exact fraction of the price of what it will for milliliters and all the maths, you know. £1.50 and £2. I think that is pretty horrific. This isn't a stab, a super drug, like I said, or any kind of um, chain because they all do it. And I just want you to be able to go next time you're preparing for a trip with a bit more of an open mind. Um, and don't fall for the cuteness because, God damn it, look at these. It's like, it's like, the, the, it's like little borrowers who are going away. Well, where would they go? Ooh, a little place, yeah. Anyway, that was my video. I just wanted to sit down, chat, and compare some stuff, and just open up a discussion. What do you think of the whole situation? Are you guilty of just being lazy and picking things like this up, or do you decant into smaller balls before you go away? Let me know down below in the comments, and um, I will see you in the next video. Yeah, let me know what you thought down below. Give it a big thumbs up. Um, I really enjoyed actually putting together this little video and starting up a little travel discussion, if you will. Yes, and I will see you in the next video. Okay. Love ya lords! Don't forget subscribe, like, bell, all that. And I'll see you later. No. Do you think it's ridiculous, Crunch?
You can't even look, she can't even look at it. She can't even like physically look at it. it like it disgusts her that much. Wow. Wow.